here in Milwaukee interleague baseball on MLB the show it's the Tampa Bay Rays and the Milwaukee Brewers. Nobody on. Nicholas the dude up now for the Brewers. All around, I think if you asked anyone in this organization who's the best hitter in the lineup, they would say him. and that one missed by a ton okay swing right. now he had his mind made up as soon as that ball left the hand of the pitcher he was going to swing at it line drive Get up, Get dive up. in it gets down could be extra bases yeah, now around second going for third and he's on got bag, himself a bag, triple on the bag. everything came together for him really good swing right there he got a pitch that he knew he could handle allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer and he hit the ball on the screws runner third two gone Willie Adamas stands in not getting the results he's wanted at the plate recently only two hits over the last five games the strategy of winning a ball game when you could make that pitcher work a little more expose himself by throwing pitches that could be the key to winning perhaps later on. So good job of extending this inning, getting a knock with two outs to bring the number four hole hitter up. And Adama swings through that one. Quickly in an 0-2 count, you've got to figure out a way to shorten your path to the baseball. Put it in place somewhere, then you got a chance. Wouldn't chase that time. Well, he missed badly with that 0-2 fastball. The hitter has to understand, probably wants to try to put him away with that pitch. So got to stay ready for it. Adamas started after it, tried to hold up. Now a look to first. No swing. He held up. Carl Dixon with the call there. Got him. And that ends the inning. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. Man at first with one gone, and here's the catcher, Kyle Teal. Taken high in the draft, he's had that top prospect label over him since he put on a professional uniform, but at some point, that starts to go away, and you've got to produce at the big league level. Here it comes. Runner on the goal. On the ground. And it finds its way through for a hit. Coming home. Now a relay to the plate. He scores. It's 2-0. And for him, that's two solid weeks with the hit in every game. I mean, he's run his hitting streak to 14. And let me tell you, that's no easy task. This guy's grinding out at bats. He's figuring out ways to put the ball in play and just as well do it with some authority. for the Brewers his first hit bat was a strikeout top of the zone for a called strike T 
two outs. Ball. That one the other way. And that's just foul. The Rays leading by two here in game one of this three game set. And another ball. Goes down looking. They get two runs on three hits, no errors, and one left. On to inning number four. It's the Rays four and the Brewers two. Back to the top of the lineup. And next is the designated hitter, Josh Lowe. the ground a second might be two throws the first in time now that yeah. left field Randy Orozo Yanni Diaz now he's already homered here in this one on the mound he's got to remember his offense can score a lot so if he can hit the reset button hey, from here right going here, forward no. there's now. still a chance that his club can win this ball game come on big guy see it drive it right here Runner. a rosa rain on the move that's, that's it for a strike throw to second great jump but well, it's really showing us the dynamic skill set he brings to the field on this one over it earlier now he swipes second showing off the speed really fun to watch him play the game The Duke in his third season, only 20 years old, and he was selected to the All-Star game last year. Bounced up the middle. Over to Diaz, and that is the third out of the inning. They put two on the board on one hit, the home run, no errors, and no one left. We're through five. It's the Rays five and the Brewers four. Four, four, take the break. Three. Four, four, take the break. Isaac Paredes now. Third base. Stewart in his fifth season. 34-year-old vet, a former first-round pick back in 2019. Come on, big guy. See it. Drive it. Base is empty one away, and we're in the top of the eighth. Swing and a ball popped up. The dude under it makes the catch. Two away down. Up next for Tampa Bay. The second base. Four, four, take the bait. Two outs, base is empty. Up now for Milwaukee, Nicholas, the dude. He's got the power. But great contact skills. One of the best contact hitters in the game. Lifted in the air, right center field. And it drops in. So a two out knock keeps the inning alive. Oh, the throw is over his head. 
The tag, and they get him. So a sloppy play there, but it ends the inning. Runners on first and third, two away here at the top of the ninth. On the ground to short, Adamas. They keep the force out, and that's the third out. No runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. On to the bottom of inning number nine. Four, five, six, coming up. It's the Rays nine, and the Brewers four. The dude played brilliantly despite the loss, collected three hits, and drove in a pair of runs. Well, Boog, they may want to change how they approach him next time because he was just incredible in this one. He looked like a threat every time up, even in a loss. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious Rays. Nine runs on 18 hits. No errors. They left 18 runners on base. Now it's going to be Nicholas the Dude. Batting third. The second baseman, Nicholas. Not that one ripped. Goodbye, Cobra. He'll circle the bases. His 31st home run of the season, and we're all square. It's 1-1. That's a game changer right there. A big time swing and we're all tied up. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got out of it. And now it's Jose Siri. Pretty amazing athlete this guy is. Power and speed, quite a threat. I mean, you're talking about someone that could steal your bag and go deep. Bo Jackson, anyone? When you have a real athletic player and who's able to do the baseball mechanical things really well, look out because the sky's the limit on that potential. Kicks and fires. On the ground, two ball. The dude. Off balance beat. There's one. Over to and first. Safe. That again. The catch. And stepping in for the Rays, Isaac Paredes. He's all for one. You have to be careful throwing and breaking pitches, even in an 0-0 count. He loves going after the off-speed stuff, and he's really good at hitting it. There goes the runner. Pitch in for a strike. For a second. Yeah, 
really didn't expect him to try to steal second base because he had a very standard lead at best. If you're going to try to get there safely, you've got to get more on that lead. You've got to get a better jump. That was the difference between being safe and out. Three. Ball four. Thank you, there. You got this. Now battle. Hey, the second base baseman, baseman. Nicholas. Nicholas. The two. Hey, we got two. And that one sliced foul. Next pitch is outside. It's a good take. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. That's back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. Milwaukee leaves one, and it's still a 3-2 ball game. Second with one away. Sal Freyla next to hit for the Rays. Freyla. On the ground, right side, the dude throws the first Out. in time. The first base is number two, Yanni D. Out. Full four, take your base. The dude, a former All Star, only 20 years old, and he was drafted in the eighth round in 2023. Foul ball. The pitch. That one is absolutely belted. Freeland raging back towards the wall. Goodbye, home run. Another homer. His second home run of the game. It's 5 4. That's their fourth home run of the game. They can't stop, and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Boo. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the dish. No, so, Boo, clearly some frustration out there on the mound right now. I mean, that ball was so close to going foul. Would have been a long strike, but instead, batter gets rewarded. Did a nice job. Here's the center fielder, Jose Siri. So easy to look at the big boys in this lineup, but he has been a pleasant surprise all season long. A lot of pitchers have caught on to how good he is hitting the first pitch. Smart to avoid the zone right there. With the go-ahead run at first, here in the second game of the series. Here's the pitch. Runner goes. Strike in there. The throw. Tag. And he's out. Well, I really didn't expect him to try to steal second base because he had a very standard lead at best. If you're going to try to get there safely, you've got to get more on that lead. You've got to get a better jump. That was the difference between being safe and out.
Nicholas the dude. He's got a couple homers already, so can he possibly do it again? Come on, man. Of course he can. Those two he hit were legit, and he looks pretty locked in right now at the dip. This one in the air. Paredes has a beat on it. Makes the catch in and over. Nobody left for Milwaukee, and they're down seven to five. And they've got the no doubles defense set up. Outfielders playing deep, infielders guarding the lines. Singy, he's a guy that covers both sides of the plate about as well as anyone in the sport. How difficult is that to do? Well, I'll just look at the back of my bubblegum card. You'll see how hard it is. These guys are great, man. They have the ability to look out there, but also to be able to turn on the inside pitch. Those that can really sharpen things on the outer half, those are the ones that become elite. The tying run at the plate. Line drive, base hit. Throw in, holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Here's Byron Buxton. One for two. And this is inside. right here a couple runners on two ball count you can't nibble but you have to execute and finish your pitch if you leave something out over the plate it's going to bring in some runs misses with the 2-0 and he's fired three straight outside the strike zone Willie Adamas would be next if they can extend the inning and he's over already so I'm sure he'd love a chance to do some more damage here That's in there. Three and one. One way to make a guy real uncomfortable with the plate is pound him inside with good velocity. They're doing that right here. And yeah, there's ball four. The outside of the bullpen can absolutely kill your momentum very quickly. They're in some hot water trying to protect this lead. Two outs, bases full. Willie Adamas up now for the Brewers. We talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. And you played behind guys, and they love having your speed out there defensively. One of the things that we talk about is how much pitchers enjoy having those elite defenders behind them. Hit to right, and that ought to do it. Come on, you're scoring, you're scoring, you're scoring. And he'll make the catch. Ball game. And the Rays take the first two games of this series on the road. Nice work out of the bullpen for that first MLB win, Boog. They turned to him when they didn't have the lead. He kept things steady, and he's rewarded with the W. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious Rays. Seven runs on ten hits. No errors. They left six runners on base. For the Brewers, five runs on nine hits. No errors. They left. Four, four. Take your base. No outs. Runner at first. Sal Freeland will hit next. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. And what you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate, try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head.
And he deals. Up the middle, the do. Flips it for one. Plenty of time at first. That's a double play. Really nice double play turn right there. And it all started with that sweet glove flip on the feed to second. You know, these middle infielders, they spend a lot of time honing that glove work, so it just becomes like second nature. I think you also have to have a really good glove. Base is empty with two away. Next for Milwaukee, Nicholas the Dude. And there's a foul ball. No, it's stay hot. Out to short, Aranda. Over to first, out with room to spare, and that's the inning. Gone in order are the Brewers, and it remains 1 0. Man at first, and now the right fielder, Sedane Rafaela. Sedane Rafaela. Ground ball left side could be two. Off balance feed, there's one. And they turn the double play. Got what he was looking for on the mound right there, and his infielders took care of business. Pretty textbook execution between short and second to turn that into two outs. second now with nobody out couldn't get any air under it but he smoked that ball back up the middle timing was just perfect got great win on it and there's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it here's Byron Buxton one for one with a single so far out in front with the swing and that is strike one Pitch. That one's in there, and it's 0 and 2. On the ground, could be two. Throws to first in time. One out in the bottom of the fourth. That was a productive at bat. You know you're doing something right anytime you help move two runners in the scoring position and give your team a chance to drive in a few runs, even if it's still kind of early in the game. Adamas in the box with one away as he takes ball one. On the ground, out to short. Zips it to first. There for the out. Runner scores from third. And now it's William now Contreras. Struck out swinging his first time. Just missed. The dude on its second with two down. Here's the pitch. Runner breaks for third. That's it. Down, first down, 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 third. Save.
There's a swing and a drive. Way back there. And caught on the warning track. A run on two hits, and they leave one. On to the top of the fifth we go. Rays three, and the Brewers one. Now it's Randy Arozarena. The left field. Randy Arozarena. Come on, big guy. Come on, buddy. And the righty deals. Rudder oh. takes off. Throw oh. safe. Manufacture that run from first. It feels like it's really important. Run around the boo. Foul ball there. And a pitch. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. The Rays leading by three here in the third and final game of the series. Rolled the short, possible two ball. Steps on the back for one. Double play. They can't seem to break through. Inning over. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. We're through six full. It's the Rays four, and the Brewers one. One gone runner at first. David VR next to hit for the Rays. One for two. Come on, big guy. Runner. Runner on the goal. Pitch in for a strike. Throw, save! Looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, boy. All loaded up. Dangerous hitter at the play. And that one fouled off. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read. Aranda. Off balance oh, speed. There's one. Not in time at first. It's a fielder's choice. I promise you they're guys that get a little bit faster when they can smell an RBI. That was a possible inning ending double play. Great hustle, and he gets rewarded with the RBI because of it. So next it's the Brewers cleanup hitter, Byron Buxton. Step off throw to first. The dude back on a dive. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. Benson, the runner at third. The dude on at first with two down. He 
field two. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. Lefty out of the stretch. Runners at first and third. Got him looking. Ends the inning after they racked up a bunch of runs. All in all, ten come to the plate. They bat around at five score. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the Brewers six, the Rays five. Full four, take the race. Two outs, runner on first. Now it's the right fielder, Sidane Rafaela. If you're a base runner, you got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. Hey, get your pitch. No better up there. And a pitch. Runner on the go. Pitch in for a strike. Throw. Save. Well, it seems like 90 feet is such a big deal in a tight one-run game like this one. Maybe it's a little bit risky, but they felt good about it, and it paid off. Let's see if they can turn this into a big run. Now, this is the blue. Number 38. Yeah, man. And welcome back to the ballpark. New inning getting started. Here's the shortstop at the play, Jonathan Aranda. So important to stay within yourself, especially for this hitter. Not known to be a power guy or a home run hitter. He needs to set the table by getting on with a walk or a base hit. Swing and a slow roller. Now one gone in the ninth. That's a huge defensive play in the late stages of the game. It might not be the most challenging we've seen today, but it needed to be made. Ball four, place the The dude with a fair showing in this win had a single and an RBI. I'm sure they're glad they got the win, but if he's going to be a driver for their offense, he needs better days than this. Some good signs in this one, though.